Welcome back, everybody, with uh, more on Mount Carmel Veterans Service Center, everything they do, and how they have impacted local community members. Well, joining me now are Chief Operating Officer Bob McLaughlin once again and Mount Carmel client Amy Shell. Good morning to you both. Amy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, first I want to ask you which branch of the military did you serve, for how long, and what was your job? I was in the United States Navy for just under two years, mm -hmm. and uh, I was a shore duty sailor. I did personnel work, so I took care of all the enlisted files. Okay, and how did you hear about Mount Carmel Veterans Service Center? I was staying at the um, Springs Rescue Mission, and I'd been there for quite a while. And one day they announced over the loudspeaker that they had a representative from Mount Carmel. Uh, veteran services and if you are a veteran to please come sign up to speak with them so I I jumped up as fast as I could went in wrote my name on the on the paper and, and waited to speak to uh, it happened to be um, my case manager who is Liz Foster sure you know first of all thank you for serving and so happy that you found Mount Carmel can you kind of go through how this center has helped you they have been amazing. They've been absolutely amazing. Um, they have uh, provided job leads, um, resources for you know mental health or health care. Um, they've uh, provided furniture for my apartment and as well as introducing me to another organization they work closely with, Volunteers of America, who helped me get my own apartment. Wow, that is amazing, and thank you for sharing that story. What do you say to other veterans out there, service members, about Mount Carmel who perhaps haven't heard about them and could be needing help? Well, I'm extremely grateful to Mount Carmel. Like I said, I was in just under uh, 24 months, so through the VA, I'm not eligible for any help. and. Mount Carmel was able to provide that for me, and they were an absolute lifesaver. And um, I would, I have been recommending it to every person I've bumped into that's been a veteran for months sure. now. <laughs> and Bob, what is it like for you on your end, uh, listening to all the help and what it means for some, for for another person, what what their life has, how their life has changed, thanks to you guys. Well, that's why we come to work every day, seeing mm -hmm. um, Amy's smiling face here today, knowing that um, she's moving forward, uh, uh, makes us proud. Makes us proud to serve her as a veteran. Makes us proud to work with our partners at Gresio Housing, Volunteers of America. It's making us all come together to help those who have served, and it's a it's a joy to to see. Well, I commend you for, first of all, the work that you guys do, and you're absolutely right. We cannot forget about those who have served our veterans, and this is one great organization that can help you guys. If you're a veteran watching this morning, learn more about Mount Carmel. What's the easiest way to find you guys, Bob? Well, you can call our center at 772-7000. Uh, come to visit us at 530 Communication Circle or go to veteranscenter.org. Either way, we'll, um, we'll be in touch and we're here to serve. I love it. Well, thank you so much to you both. Uh, Amy, thank you for coming on the show this morning and sharing your story. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And of course, thank you to Wirenut um, and the team at Mount Carmel for all the work that they do every single day. And again, for more info, all you need to do is go to veteranscenter.org. All right, now it's time for today's 